Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, welcome to a continuation of today's biology lesson. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Last time we discussed double fertilization in flowering plants. So today we are going to continue with the same and we'll find out how do seeds and fruits develop after fertilization. So the first thing that we shall look at is development of the seed. Now, first of all, uh, we can say that a seed is a fertilized ovule. That means that whatever was previously the ovule in the flower, after it is fertilized, after the female gametes in the ovule are fertilized, then we obtain the seed. Now, in that development of the seed, we have the walls of the ovule, and those walls of the ovule, we refer to them as integuments. So integuments become the seed coat. Become the seed coat or the tester. And then uh, other parts of the flower, uh, such as the stigma, and style, they dry and fall off, and fall off. The stigma and the style dry and fall off. The micropyle remains in the seed and is the one that allows allows in water and air into the seed other parts of the flower after fertilization that means the calyx and corolla fall off and wither. But in some cases, but in some cases, the calyx may persist. The calyx may persist or may remain. for dispersal, for, for seed dispersal. So basically that is how the seed develops. We are saying that a seed is a fertilized ovule. So whatever was the ovule while in the flower, after fertilization it becomes the seed. The integuments that were there in the ovule become the seed coat or become the tester. The stigma and the style, they dry and fall off. The micropyle remains in the seed and it's the one that allows in water and air. The calyx and corolla fall off and wither, but in some cases, the calyx may persist for seed dispersal. So that is basically how the seed develops after fertilization. Let's look at development of the fruit. How does the fruit develop in this case? Now, the fruit or a fruit is a fertilized ovary. So 
So the entire ovary, after all the ovules inside have been fertilized, it becomes the fruit. Now, the fruit has a wall called the pericarp. The fruit has a wall called the pericarp, which may be divided in some cases, which in some cases may be divided into a the epicup or the exocup, which is the outer, the outermost part. That is now the peel, the peel of the fruit. There is the middle part called the mesocup. And then the innermost part called the endocarp. So this is the innermost part. So those are the parts of a fruit wall, the wall of the fruit. Of course, the seed is inside, and then the wall of the fruit. The wall of the fruit is what we are calling the pericarp. And this pericarp, in some cases, may be divided into the epicarp, the outer part of the wall, or the exocarp, the middle part of the wall called the mesocarp, and then the innermost part of the wall called the endocarp. Just before now you get to the, to the seed. Now, I want us to ask ourselves a question. What is the difference between a seed and a fruit. So on one side we'll have the seed and on the other side we'll have the fruit. So now, a seed is enclosed by the tester or by the seed coat. But a fruit is enclosed by the pericarp, which is the fruit wall. Another difference is that a seed has one scar. That is the point of attachment to the receptacle. But a fruit has two scars. That is the point of attachment to the receptacle and the remains of the style. So those are two differences between a seed and a fruit. We have seen that a seed is enclosed by the seed coat or the tester, but a fruit is enclosed by the pericarp or the fruit wall. A seed has one scar, the point of attachment to the receptacle. A fruit has two scars, 
the point of attachment to the receptacle and the remains of the style. So basically, we have looked at how the seed develops and how the fruit develops and what is the difference between the two. So we'll have a short assignment. So the first question, explain what happens to the seeds after fertilization. And number two, state two differences between a seed and a fruit. Number three, what happens to the following after fertilization, integuments and micropyle. So we are going to stop there. We meet next lesson. Goodbye.